So here we are again at the home of mighty Steve Halls, the man in shorts. And uh, Steve, I've just downloaded your world famous flat stomach challenge. Yeah. I wonder if we can just go through it uh, so that people can get started on this and start making a difference. Yeah. Uh, the first thing on here, of course, is about the, the old fuel. You know, starting the day with a really good breakfast. Just just like you would, uh, if you wouldn't drive a car. You know, if you're going to Scotland today from Stoke, you know, the first thing you'd probably do is to fill up your car with fuel. We're no different. If we're starting a full day, busy day, must have breakfast. Starts the metabolism straight away. Therefore, we start burning calories instantly. If you wait till lunchtime, the body will wait as well, so we get okay. that in straight away. All Good right. healthy breakfast. Great. Now, there's a seemingly obvious one on here. Uh, it's about not snacking between meals. I also know that you're a real advocate of when you do have the meals, you make it a good meal. Yeah, the, the snacks are more for the people who um, you know, are, are taking biscuits, you know, the odd cake you know, in at work. If you're going to have something mid-morning or mid-afternoon, make it fruit, nuts, something healthy. Right. Something really healthy. Okay, good stuff. So it's, it's the what, making sure it's the good it's, stuff. It's, yeah? it's always keeping it good. Fantastic. Next one, crikey, the number of times you've said this to us guys and kept this message alive about the just getting the water into our mm. system. We must be taking on at least two litres a day. Okay. At least two litres a day. And if we're going to sweat and work out a lot more, then we probably need a little bit more as well. Um, the most common answer to every time I say to somebody, do you drink? How much water do you drink? They say, probably not enough. Yeah. So just drink more. And what about the tea and coffee? Because often people get a lot of tea and coffee into their system in the day. Is that tea, tea and coffee is a bit of a diuretic, so what you're taking in through the water will be um, utilised by the body just to get rid of that. Right. So it's, we, we need pure water. Okay. Pure water. Yeah. All right, fabulous. Carry out the exercise routine every day. Mm. We'll come to that. <laughs> okay. Every day, five minutes a day, that's all it is. Five minutes. Five minutes. It doesn't seem like enough, but I've got a feeling Steve's going to prove us wrong on that. Uh, record your results. Actually, I've heard this from lots of quarters about getting mm. results if you record it and measure it. To, to some people, seeing, um, seeing the figures in black and white is very, very motivational. Yeah. Um, and once you see what you're starting off at in the standard there, and you look in three months' time when you've already got that flat stomach to see where you've moved on to, yeah. you know, it's, it is great. Plus, it gives you that tick in the box. And then you know you've done it. And is that as much about how many exercises you get done in the time as well as like measurements and things like that of how your body's changing? Yeah, we've got the measurements at the bottom. Right. So we've... Uh... There it is, at the <laughs> bottom of the form. We record on there, fantastic. Excellent. Well, the next one, sleeping well and dreaming of success. I like mm, that. I like we've got that. to get the mind working in the same, same direction as we want to go. So once the unconscious mind's working with us, um, just dream of that success, dream of where you're going um, and we must sleep well because it's one of the main elements of uh, recovery and that's when the body regenerates. Fabulous, well. all for more sleep. <laughs> Let's get to the exercises then. The first one, squats. Squats, very simple exercise. All we're doing is basically sitting down and standing up again. Use the hands for balance. If there isn't a seat there, again we're just moving forward and we're just Simple little squat. We're doing each one for a minute. Um, if I haven't got a watch, or if I can't be bothered to look at my watch, I just do 50. Okay. I'm going to get about 50 in around about a minute. Right. So, That's you know, which, whichever, yeah. whichever one is, you know, you work to best. But it's just 50 squats or a minute of squats. Fabulous. And then straight on to the next one. So you go straight into this uh, on the yeah. press at, at first you might uh, you might need at least a bit of a breather in between these okay. exercises. Yep, yep. I've known somebody to straddle it out all day, you know, <laughs> at first, yep. and then eventually the rest periods get less as okay. you get stronger and fitter and a flatter stomach. And the, the aim eventually is to be doing five minutes solid yeah. uh, with the five exercises. Yeah. Fabulous. So the next one then is press-ups. Press-ups. Making sure that the body stays nice and straight, everything touches the floor at the same time. The easier you make it look, the easier it is. Fabulous. Okay, for the ladies, if, if a full press up isn't in your capability at the moment, just drop to the knees, the fleshy part of the knees, and then you're rocking forward, and the body is still keeps nice and straight. So again, we're doing that for one minute. 
Now, would you be encouraging people to actually drink some water as they're doing these exercises? You mentioned about the water thing. You know, you, well, you can never get enough water. Okay. Always drink. You may need some in between. You know, just I've, I've always got a glass handy. I will always be drinking <laughs> plenty of water. There's you, a goldfish you, in there. You can't get enough. I've gone. I've had my breakfast. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, I think moving on quickly there. Uh, squat jumps. Squat jumps. Now, this is what... This is what this flat stomach's all about. Right. People want belly stuff, <laughs> but it's it's all about the legs. It's all right. about the legs. I'm pa so passionate about the legs, and this is the this is the exercise that's going to really give you that flat stomach. And all you're doing squat jumps, so we're touching the floor and we're jumping up. Right. Now, if you've got um, something to aim for, yeah, even better. A cloud. <laughs> better on a low cloud, and all you're doing, and we're landing soft, ready to go for the next one. And I can guarantee if any athlete came to me, yeah. I could get them, or they could get themselves, out of breath within that minute. Right. So because it's how high you're jumping, the intensity you're doing, one minute, you will be, no, you'll know it. <laughs> one minute. So <laughs> whatever level you're at, basically that's a good workout. It is. Right, okay. Whether, whether, I mean, some people when they're starting, hardly get off the floor. Yeah. They will be still working to the same intensity as someone who's getting right up high. Right, okay, yeah. So wherever you start, just give it 100%. Yeah. Okay. Next one then, crunches. That's, again, the, the words are a bit of an off-putter. But... <laughs> the crunches basically is a sit-up. Right. Um, it's the least effective of these, but right. there's something about people want sit-ups. If you mention stomach stuff or flat stomach, they just feel compelled to be doing sit-ups. It's okay. a smaller muscle compared to all the others. And therefore, you know, we should spend the least amount of time. So I put it in there just because people want it, right? <laughs> but it's quite simple. With their feet flat, stomach's nice and tight, as if, let's say, somebody's going to punch them in the stomach. Hands across, woo, have a go. <laughs> and then we're just lifting up and squeezing, really squeeze there. If you want to, you can then come up into a setup, nice and easy. Ensure you've got something smooth like this concrete to, <laughs> to okay. watch your back. Oh, right so a nice yeah. mat or yeah. a carpet. Okay, so what you're saying actually is that the leg muscles will do more for your flat stomach than actually crunches. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the flat stomach comes really about with getting rid of the fat that's around there. Right. To burn fat, we need to burn calories, okay. and to burn calories, we need to use the bigger muscles. Right. What the what the crunches will eventually do is give you that definition. Right. Once you've got rid of the fat. Okay. Right. Fabulous tips there. So uh, squat jumps. We're back to the famous jumps That's again, and I've put them in twice because they're that effective. They're that good. Yeah. New York <laughs> did it, didn't they? <laughs> so good, you do them twice. So again, we're back down to touching, jumping up. And we're jumping up as high as we can each time, landing nice and soft. And that is five minutes. People tell me they don't have time. You do have time. That's it. Nice one. Signing off. Get that That's water right. in. Get that water <laughs> down here.